Hi, welcome back to Kolsky John. So, yesterday you'll have seen the unboxing of this and what you get in the box and how it works and how the app works and stuff. So, now I've got the flight test and my conclusion. But before I do the conclusion, there's something I didn't show yesterday that's really important. So, when I was on this screen and I hit start, if you hit this button here, this is how you calibrate the compass. Now, it's gonna, it's quite important. The video you're gonna see where you see a little bit of toilet bowl is because I didn't calibrate this compass. I'd calibrated it previously, but I didn't calibrate it when I went to a different location. So, I, in my opinion, this thing needs to be calibrated all the time. Go to sensor calibration, and that will allow you to do the horizontal calibration, and also the vertical calibration. It's really easy to do, it's just your standard. That's got a firmware upgrade, this is my frequency from my Wi-Fi, which you can leave as it is. And then this will tell me if I've got the latest version. So the current version is the latest one. I didn't show you that yesterday, I'm sorry about that. So, as a selfie drone, it's not bad at all. You can see for the video footage it looked quite clear. I haven't got that much video footage because uh, I'd flown it about a little bit and I've only got the one battery. You, you're going to get the impression of what it's like though. So, so it doesn't have stabilisation, so it, it's a bit, it's a bit um, floaty, so it floats around as you can imagine, and because of the design of it, it's going to float about. As a flying machine, I actually really enjoy flying it around. I don't know what the range is like, I went to about 30 metres and it seemed fine. I wouldn't, I wouldn't risk going any further with it, but it seemed absolutely fine, and it's quick. This thing does not hang about. He gets a move on, so you can have fun flying it around. I, I didn't try it with the phone. I probably will do another video where I try it with the phone and follow me mode, etc. Because the follow me mode, when I did try it, didn't work correctly, and that's down to me because it's down to the fact that I didn't calibrate the compass correctly. However, I will do I will do another video showing you the follow me mode and some more different functions it does. But I just wanted to get a flight footage up quickly because the weather's a bit hit and miss in the UK at the minute. I just wanted to get that done so you could see what was happening. A couple of other things I didn't show you yesterday, so it'll save your footage on here. So as or as well as so you can read you can watch it from here. It doesn't look as good on here as you can probably see. So let me just go back and see if I I might have just wiped these actually. Let me just see if you can see. Yeah, I don't think they're actually on there. I think I wiped them. But that's where you can view your footage. But the footage is stored to the machine itself. And then in settings here, you've got ultrasonic wave. You've got fast and low, headless mode, gravity mode, left hand or right hand, and the electronic venture is set at 60 meters. So there are your settings in here. And then if you go to modes, you've got smart follow, and you've got gesture control, you've got rocket, Drony and 360 circle. So we'll do them in a, in a future video. Probably in the next couple of weeks, I'll get another video up showing you them. Because I've seen other videos and they do seem to work something like. So let me just cut to the chase. I paid £110 for this. So at £110, I'm, I'm happy with it. It does what I thought it was going to do, but it, it's crazy money at some places. I've seen these for 250 quid and stuff like that, $270 and stuff. And it's not worth that kind of money by any stretch of the imagination. But from what I paid for it, yeah, I'm happy enough with it. It's a decent little selfie drone. You could just leave it hovering in the air if you want to film your kids and stuff. The quality looks sharp enough from the camera. It would be fantastic if it were stabilised, but it isn't. So, yeah, it's a bit of fun. It's called a fun snap and it's a bit of fun. You must calibrate the compass, it, it's quite important. The reason I'm saying that is because I have flown it since I did this video, the flight video, I flown it afterwards, but I didn't do anything else, I just made sure it hovered correctly and it does. So make sure you calibrate the compass, but yeah, all in all, I like it. I like it because the quality is good, the fit and finish is fantastic, especially of the drone and the controller, I think they're fantastically made, really nice piece of the kit. You can buy it, I think, even cheap if you don't want the controller with it. I'd recommend getting the controller because it's good fun flying it about. So, I'm going to leave you with the flight footage. There isn't that much of it, sorry about that, but you're going to, you're going to get a general impression. You're going to see what it's like. There's, there's more footage of it filmed from the camera on the drone, but you're going to be able to tell what you can see. What You're going to be able to see how good the quality looks. 
or not and if it's up to you you make your own mind up i'm not i'm not telling you to buy this i'm not telling you not to buy it i'm saying make your own mind up so thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day so this is the flight of the front snap so as you can see it's quite stable in the hover and it does fly around really nicely there's a bit of wallow in it because of the way it's set up because of the ducting system but yeah it's really nice fun really good fun to fly you're going to see from the images coming up shortly directly taken from the drone itself the clarity of the picture is actually quite good and the bit rate's decent as well you've obviously got a lot of movement around in the drone because it's got no proper locking system it has got gps but it's never going to lock really well also there's no stabilization on the camera but if you're using it as a selfie drone and you wanted it for portraits or you just wanted to do is hold it steady in the air for filming then it's absolutely fine for that and i was absolutely shocked how good the quality looks i expected it to be worse than it was to be honest like some of the other selfie drones i'd use so yeah like i said in the video it's a lot of money but at the price i paid for it it's probably about right so enjoy the rest of the video